Hey everybody, I'm here with the next Guardian Gauntlet with Yamoja, the new god in Duel, or new god in Smite. Um, when a new god comes out, they are not allowed in ranked for until the next patch, um, unless they receive major changes. So I had to wait an extra patch to be able to play here in ranked Duel, for those that don't know. And that's kind of why I waited after uploading the Jing Tan Guardian Gauntlet, was at first I thought it was only going to take one week until she was allowed in ranked, and then I realized, oh, I have to wait another week. Might as well do it. So here we are with Yamoja. We're against Foxer. Pretty expected. Uh, I still feel like my bands are better. Would not want to find a fight a Vulcan. Although I'm ranged, so it wouldn't be as bad as most Guardians. But we'll see what happens. Um, I did do a warm-up game last game. It didn't go so well, but it, it got me in the right mindset of Yamoja. Um, I am going to try... Do I want to try Warrior's Blessing? I feel like Attacker's Blessing was pretty good. Or actually, just rushing Tier 2 Bancrofts. The only issue with rushing Tier 2 Bancrofts is you run out of mana. And she's not going to run out of mana because she uses uh, Omi. So, also, let's get a... Let's get a Sprint Blink Bracer. Let's get a Bracer. I have an Escape out of his ult. I don't... Ooh, I don't know if this works. I do not know if my three works if I'm crippled. Mm. If it works, it'll be the greatest counter to Bakazura. But if it doesn't work, it's going to suck. Okay, he's right behind me. Also, my two? My two's honestly not worth it to level. I don't think it is until late game. It costs three Omi. And it just doesn't do much in duel. It's mainly for teammates. Do you just brace her? Nice. Might be able to catch him out here, actually. Oh. Okay, hold on. Might be able to get him over the wall or something. Please go this way. I stunned him. But he's healing too much. He's going to heal off that uh, buff. That's okay. Alright, alright. We're still having some Omi problems, but this isn't so bad. Let's save our Omi here, actually. Yeah, so for those that don't know Yomoja's kit at all, my one, it alternates between two abilities. This one stuns in the middle if I hit them with uh, in the middle, right? And this one just kind of bounces. So every time I use the ability, it'll switch my one. And so that's important to know. My passive is this whole mana thing. You can see the, these bubbles. Each one is one Omi. And you can see my one costs two Omi, two, three Omi, Three, three Omi, and my ultimate actually doesn't cost any Omi, but it'll uh, give me more Omi regeneration, and my ultimate's awesome. I probably should have backed there, but that's okay. I feel like my alt will be pretty useful in this fight, especially if I can bait his his uh, his escape. That was a good dodge by him. I hit him with like almost every single one there. Now, the part I do not know about Yamoja's kit is how much cooldown is turned into Omi regeneration. That I just don't know. He didn't get level 5. It's important not to give him level 5 here. There we go! First blood against Boxura. Man, you guys would not believe the amount of comments that tell me to ban Boxura, but I would much rather fight Boxer than Vulcan as a guardian. As any guardian. Oh, maybe that's not worth it. You don't get Omi in base. So using my three to get out of base might not be worth it, to be honest. Because by the time I get back to lane, I'm not full Omi. I very much like her kit. Her passive, uh, we're going to talk about her kit slowly over the course of this video, by the way. If you want to just read up on it, uh, you can pause the video and do that as well. But I'll slowly get through the entire thing in this video. Um, her passive is that when she basic attacks allied gods, they, they actually get healed. But in duel, that's useless. And my two, it heals allied gods and gives them a shield. It does a little bit of damage. But again, in duel, it's useless. 
Or it's not useless. My two's just not very good. I guess I'll level it once. It's just good that it it's cost more Omi than my one. It does less things in duel than my one. I kind of want to test if my three would have worked there, but alas, wasn't able to. So right now we're completely low on Omi, which is not good. We're still doing a ton of damage though. Can I get him there? My one goes pretty far. Nope. If he tries to leap on me, I'm gonna ult instantly. I might actually ult to get my Omi. Let's do that. Yep, that works. One thing about the ult, I didn't get him in the ult, but isn't that ult awesome? Um, I didn't get him inside the ult, but he wasn't able to see me, so he didn't see me casting the ability, and by the time he realized it, it was too late. I think he would have been able to leap. But yeah, my ult gives me Omi regeneration, it slows, it's two giant walls, and it does quite a bit of damage when it crashes, as well as a super strong slow, like the strongest slow in the game, I think, actually. Yeah, 90% slow, and then it decreases. At that point, it might as well be a root when it's a 90% slow. You normally can't get a slow that uh, that extreme just because of diminishing returns. He wants me to go this way. I'm fine with that. I'll just damage him, then leave. Okay. And for magical defense, let's get a... I'm magical physical. <laughs> Uh, Nemean or Midgardian? I'm gonna get a Midgardian here. Yeah, so our one's awesome, our three's okay. It's mainly an escape. It gives us protections, actually, which is great. Our two's not that great, but if we're, if we're full, full Omi and we're just spamming... Well, even then, if we're full Omi... Uh, you can just spam any abilities. That's the most important thing I forgot to mention. Oh my lord. Is that Yemoja does not have cooldowns on her 1, 2, or 3. She, If she has the Omi to cast it, she can just spam it. But again, she's limited on her Omi. Oh, you would not You would do that. Too bad this can't like shoot me over walls. Imagine how cool that would be. So she has, her maximum can be 10 Omi by buying mana or just having mana in general. Uh, you can see that bar actually here. That's a better place to show it. So you can see how close I am to my next one. But again, I don't see anywhere where, just by reading this fast, I, it says something about cooldown reduction, increasing Omi regeneration, but it doesn't say how much. And I haven't tested how much it is. So I just don't know. I just don't know off the top of my head. Actually, we'll stay another wave. Don't know off the top of my head. I imagine Gem of Iso is actually amazing on her. But I have not tested it. I also wonder how good E-Staff would be on and against her. I imagine E-Staff is actually really good against her. Just because you're stealing her mana. Which gives her less Omi. Which is really bad for her. You know? But no idea. We'll get this. Why didn't I? Okay. Gives movement speed after. That's kind of worth it to use out of base. I guess it is. It's better than losing XP or gold. Oh, he didn't go on me. Uh-huh. We actually have 20% cooldown here. We could probably try to calculate the Omi regeneration naturally. Probably not worth, though. I think this boxer is going to start playing a little PvE. Don't blame him at all because he's losing big time. We're going to need to start getting wards though. Okay. We're actually we're two and zero, oh and he's not even that far behind because he's been so good at taking these buffs.
Okay, he's pausing. Uh, what what a, can we talk about more about Yamoja? Oh, obviously she she is a guardian, but she's ranged, and the fact that she's ranged, I think, makes her really good just in general. Because the fact that she's ranged, she's a ranged guardian, and she can proc Polly, that makes me so happy. Because the only other god that can do that is Sylvanas, and Polly isn't even that good on Sylvanas, because you can't choose which target gets Polly. It's just a pretty much the closest one to the center of the auto attack. So if they're in a wave, Polly's not that great. He's too fast. This is going to become an issue. I actually can't catch him with my one when he's using his, his movement speed like that. Which is why we need gem. We need gem and chain our and chaining our abilities basically. I have thorns if he tries to ult me here. Dang it, I really wanted those. His blue buff's up, we need to take we need to fight him here. No, nope, we're not gonna fight him. He already got it. Yeah, he's PvE ing hard. It's a crazy amount of PvE. Wait, is he dead? Can I use my three? No. Oh. That's so, like... Mm, I'm having some issues with my movement speed and my... Just everything. Let's get a Divine, maybe, first. And then we'll get a Gem. Divine, we definitely need Polly in our build. I'd probably rather have Polly than Gem, actually, if it came down to it. Because with Polly, I could take objectives. And as we all know, that's what Guardians have a hard time doing, taking objectives. But if I have Polly, then all of a sudden that's not my issue. Okay, good. He didn't take that. That's great, actually. If we can take this red, that'd be amazing. As, since his Sunder, he got Sunder. I don't know if I agree with that, but because the Sunder is not upgraded, it's actually pretty smart of him to just use it like that. Because... Sunder does the most amount of damage, the more health you have, so might as well use it for poke, right? That's the way I see Sunder, if I don't have it upgraded. Keep upgrading our three, I guess. Gives more movement speed. It's like, it, our three is not really great to level, but I think it's better to level than our two. It's just, because our two does less damage, and it just costs more, you know? I might try to secure red with an ultimate here. Did you really do that? Wow. Wow, that sucks. I placed my ultimate wrong. Well, it's not even the place of the ultimate wrong. It's just I didn't think he'd steal it with a jump, for crying out loud. You know? I used my bracer way too early. It's okay. We're fine. Man, this guy is taking every buff very well. We're the same level now, even though I have more kills than him. Because he is taking all the buffs so well. This is the part that makes Boxer is so good. Yo, I might actually get a Typhon's Fang with this build. Because I already have Bancroft, so I'm getting Polly. Typhon's would give me a lot of health. I mean, not health, uh, power. Because it gives double the life steal you have. And it Typhon's with Bancroft is, alone is worth it. But with Polynomicon as well... Maybe. I would love to build Book of Thoth on your mojo, by the way, but since Book of Thoth gives you power based on your mana, and she doesn't have mana, I don't think it would give you any power, which is really unfortunate. Look how fast he is. He can dodge my abilities very easily, which is going to become a big problem. Oh, I haven't talked about this, I don't think. Uh, late game, when I kill him, I can use my three to shove the minions under his phoenix and take his phoenix that way. So that's actually huge. A lot of times you'll see me get a kill on a guardian, and I can't do anything with it. My blue buff's about to spawn. I really don't want to lose it. And he knows that. He, he's, he knows this PvE gameplay like the back of his hand. Got it. Nice. Uh oh. Okay. 
Oh, look at that slow! No, I missed. Okay, come on. Just like this. Please don't leap! No, I got him, but he leaped. Oh, man. Okay, well, might as well take... Can I take his blue? Nope, it's not up yet. Oh, that's tough. I don't get anything off of this. I get minis, but what are minis compared to anything in this game? I can't stay for red. Pretty sure I'll die. Oh, that's so unfortunate. We need cooldown. I don't know how helpful cooldown is on Umoja in terms of getting some more... So I'm Omi faster, but it's my Omi regeneration is just not fast enough. Also glad I got the Divine Rune, because he got Aussie. Is that up? It's not upgraded yet. Man, he's really wanting these buffs, man. This, this Bid Guardian is being okay, though. I'm usually not a big fan of Midguardian, but since since Umoja doesn't need other stats as much. <laughs> I just auto attack him here. <laughs> ah, the gap. Gotta love it. Okay, his escape's down. Ah, he went the other way. Slightly unfortunate. Dang, there's like, hmm. There's not much I can do with his movement speed right now. Obviously gem, but can I even keep the gem applied before I run out of Omi, you know? Also, another thing to note about my three, it throws allies and me farther. And uh, enemies, it doesn't throw that far. But they can still get thrown. And at the end of my three, it throws them backwards. If I back, will I have enough time to steal my blue? Or is he going to take it right now? I think I have to back anyway, so. Alright, now we get gem. I still don't have pen, but I think that's fine. We do tons of damage. I've panned from Divine Rune. I think I would build... Well, we'll see how, if Jam, I can keep him in the fight. But if not, I might just go Obsidian. Just because she does seem kind of bursty. Oh, man. Look at that ability spam. Look at that ability spam. I love it. We need to be weaving in auto attacks now. That's a big thing here. You running away again? Okay, well, I get tower. We get tower now that we have poly. This is very good. And I'm actually going to throw my minions forward. That way they get into tower faster. Yeah, that's going to be helpful for Phoenix. That's probably the thing I look forward to in this kit the most. Is that if I get a kill or I force them back, I can actually take an objective by pushing minions and then polynomicon. Makes me super happy, man. Also, I'm probably going to be streaming Yomoja all day today, so come by stream if you want. Because I'm loving her. He didn't take that. Not, not even reason to go over there. I'm tower sitting a bit. I'm sorry, Boxer. Mage is in my blood because I'm a ranged, uh, ranged magical character. To be fair, I wasn't tower sitting earlier, but he was like playing super passively. He could actually have probably killed me there. I was not regenerating Omi as fast as I needed to be. 
Like, look at this. It's pretty slow um, when you need it. That's probably the one thing I'm going to have to work on is saving my abilities for when I really need them. Okay. Uh, we won't upgrade any of our abilities. I have no idea how Bracer works. Upgraded. You know what? I probably shouldn't have gotten Bracer because upgraded Bracer probably is not worth it at all. Because I don't have cooldowns. You'll notice that when I'm out of Omi, I have cooldowns because it shows me, tells me how much time I need until I have the proper amount. Omi is such a weird word. I would have loved to alt there, but nope. Don't you dare steal that. Yeah. My ultimate's not going to be great unless his, his stuff is down. This guy, man. This guy. Man, I could have chained my threes together. Yamoja kind of has a super escape, if you think about it. At least I regener regenerate Omi while I'm dead. Don't regenerate it in Fountain, but hey, if I'm dead, yeah, that's fine. He should not be able to take Phoenix at all. Um, he could go for Bull Demon, which, let's see, I think he might be doing that. Why am I dead for so long? This is my first death of the game. Why am I dead this long? There's so many things I wish I, I would change about Duel if I could. And I don't know what the exact fix is. I just know what needs to be addressed. And that is Respawn Timers, Bull Demon King, and uh, Gold. Uh, the amount of gold you get when you kill someone for First Blood and Return Kill. I think those are the things that need to be addressed for Duel. Again, I don't know the perfect solution to them, but something needs to happen to those things and they should be tested. We should be fine. We have our gem out online now as well. Very nice. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God, he knew I would go through it. <laughs> he knew. Oh my Lord. Is he just gonna go straight for Bull Demon? If I was him, I would. I'm mean, straight for Phoenix, yeah. I don't even blame him for that there. That's kind of my fault. Man, and now there's minions. Those minions screwed me over. Oh, are you serious? Go back whence you came. Go back hence you came. Now this I didn't want him to do. That's not very cash money of you. Again, I don't get Omi and Fountain, so we're actually in a horrible position here. Man, this game was going so well. I'm okay with this, though. This is my second Yumoji game in Duel. Again, I did a warm-up game last game. I feel way better about this one. I still feel like she's pretty good. Just need to fix some, some issues, probably with the build. I feel like cooldown might be a necessity on her. If we do... Well, either way, whether we lose this or not, I'm definitely going to do another full gameplay for Yumoja. And before that video, I'll test things in jungle practice with her to give you guys some exact numbers. Because I'm an idiot and I don't follow new gods until they're allowed in duel. <laughs> That's just the way I've kind of always done it. Because sometimes new gods get changed so much before duel and I only play duel. So it's like that's the only game mode I care about a ton. Man, he has so much move speed. My, my gem viso is great, but I don't think it's good enough. Am I going to have to alt here? No, okay. Next wave we're going to have to alt, I feel like. I think he's going to push. All right. Right now we have 20% cooldown. I'm going to try to sell boots for something with a lot of cooldown, and we'll see how that goes. Oh, hello. Hmm. 
Man, he came back. He's he juked so much. There we go, Polynomicon. I also need to be using Poly way more. Do I want something with Love Cooldown or do I want Typhoons? Because he doesn't have Anti Heal. Hmm. Or even like Rod. Let's see cooldowns. Let's, let's look at some options. Okay, we need to save mana for my three here if we want to be able to take anything here. Man, my, my Omi, I just, I can't do anything here. I can't, I can't. I just, I just can't. I got red, which is amazing. Phoenix is coming up, which is great. Let's sell this for movement speed boots or movement speed. And I guess spear. Spear is great. No, no, no. Shamans. Shamans ring. Yes. They buffed shamans ring. That's right. Or they nerfed, but buffed it. I don't know. It has more power and it has cooldown now. We have the same amount that we had before, though, when you think about it. Ah, oh, great. This clown. Worth. I honestly think that's worth. I'm okay with that. Can I actually use my three here instead? Is this faster than if I were to use other abilities? No. I think we just need to honestly regularly clear the wave. This is a huge issue. If I'm out of a fight and I used all my Omi, I can't push the minions. That's a pretty big issue. Maybe my two is better for clearing at this point, but it costs more Omi. I don't really want to use it unless I have to. Okay, if I tank it for these archers. No, he's already alive. I can't. Man. We gotta sell something. I'm gonna sell this for breastplate. We have more Omi regeneration, but not much. I don't think it goes up that much. Can I just see? 1.5 versus 1.9. I'm pretty sure there's a cap as well, just the normal everyday cap. Um, there's a 20. There's a there's a 90% chance we get backdoored here, but what am I supposed to do, right? 90% chance of this happening. So the best thing we can do is try and bait his escape. Okay, he didn't backdoor us. He used his ultimate. Try and keep Divine Rune applied on him. I have more regeneration now, at least. Probably want to get some more wards. Oh, hold on. Can't go back if he's here. He's trying to not get Omid. There we go. Dang, he's so fast, even with my gem. He is so incredibly fast. If I kill him now, I feel like I'll get enough Omi to be able to actually uh, defend or push my wave with my three, though. This god is so fun, though. Can I just talk about that? I may be 4-1 and one in losing, and usually I'm tilted as hell when that happens as a guardian, but this is so fun. Okay, he did get that anti-heal. Um, let's upgrade Thorns. It's, might as well. It's like He has Aussie, but I don't think upgrading Bracer will do anything. I'm going to test some things with the emoji after this. I'll let you guys know next full gameplay with her. Especially upgrade Bracer and how, how effective, if cooldown's even worth it or not. We're at max Omi, by the way. Oh, I didn't get more wards when I should have. Oh, he's taking this? He took this? 
Come on, just you and me. Mono e mono. Oh my god, what the hell is was that? That was OP. Yes! Late game, you mojo has the di most disgusting combo I've ever seen. I kept him stun locked. I just dumped my one like six times on him. <laughs> that was disgusting. Now this is what I've been waiting for. This is what I've been waiting for. He's dead, but I can just launch my minions. Use Polynomicon. Okay, I think we finally figured her out. Okay, that was a little disgusting. Let's see, can I end? Oh my god. What the hell was that? To be I'm five and one, so I don't feel guilty about that usually. Usually I feel bad if I go and take Titan in one go. But I was five and one. Oh my god, dude. That combo. Just bamming your one and keeping them in place. I was trying to do that before, but you would see how fast he was and he was still able to juke it. But honestly, I just don't think I was I was trying for the button smash because I was scared if I did the button smash, we'd lose badly. Also, it's a new uh, split, so that's why we're in gold. Oh, they added more fancy stuff. I like Yamoja a lot. That is so much fun. Like I said, even if we lost that, I was having a blast the entire time. <laughs> no, I feel you. I feel you. Okay. I think the cooldown helped. Also, you'll notice at the end, I ulted even though he obviously wasn't in my ult. I used that for the Omi regeneration. That way I could use my three and get catch up to him. If I didn't do that, I wouldn't have gotten to him fast enough. I don't think. So very good game. Very fun. I love it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. We will be playing Ymir next time. Uh, I, I got pulled a sneaky on you. I said I'd be playing Ymir next time last time, but we got to play the new gods. So have fun, everybody. Have a good day.